I will magnify thee, O Lord, for thou hast set me up, and not made my foes to triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cry unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Thou, Lord, hast brought my soul out of hell. Thou hast kept my life, that I should not go down into the pit. I sing praises unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks unto him also, for a remembrance of his holiness. For his wrath endureth, but the twinkling of an eye, and in his pleasure is life. Heaviness may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be removed. Thou, O Lord, of thy goodness hast made my heel so strong. Thou didst turn thy face from me, and I was troubled. Then cried I unto thee, O Lord, and gate me to my Lord right humbly. My prophet is there in my blood, when I go down into the pit. Shall the dust give thanks unto thee, or shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me, Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned my heaviness into joy. Thou hast put off my sackcloth, and girded me with gladness. Therefore shall every good man sing of thy praise without ceasing. O oh, my God, I will give thanks unto thee for evermore. Amen. Welcome, friends, to Sunday Worship Service. Give thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished it, and cherished it, even as the Lord the Church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and that they shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the Church. Nevertheless, let every one of you, in particular, so love his wife even as himself, and the wife 
see that she has reverence to her husband. Amen. Thank you, friends and neighbors, until we meet again for Sunday Worship Service.